This local sports report is brought to you by Peter Izio from Izio Financial Solutions, helping you ensure financial stability for your family or business. Call Peter today for expert advice from an experienced advisor. Call now to book an appointment at 519-576-5410. Local kicker Nathan Mesher is going into his final season of OUA football. It goes by so quickly. Now he's going into his last year with the Laurier Golden Hawks, a local product who's had a wonderful career here at Laurier. Uh, just give me the expectations going into the season here. It starts in just a couple of weeks. Yeah, well, I mean, expectations here are always high. Uh, last year didn't go as planned, but, I mean, I think we've really learned from basically what it really takes, mm -hmm. the work that needs to be put in, and how we can really just improve and come out this season more the way that we feel we should have been and basically the way we will be. What are some of those things that you learned from last year? Obviously, like you said, it didn't go as playing. You didn't make the playoffs. But at the end of the day, this is a new year. This is a new team, and you have to have a fresh start and sort of put that in the past. But like you said, also learn from that, right? Yeah. What are some of those things that you can take away from last year that you can bring into this year to make you a better football club? I think really it's just about basically putting in the work mm -hmm. on and off the on and off the field. I mean, like, I know guys are coming out to basically these runs constantly. We're always getting good turnouts. Um, basically, that extra work, that extra effort, maybe extra film sessions, who knows. Mm -hmm. uh, but all this will be put, like, into play. Uh, we'll learn, because I know we started off last year really well also. Yep. Uh, so I think kind of that chip on the shoulder, kind of that mentality, which we had a few years ago, mm -hmm. uh, that probably will also come into play, kind of give us maybe a little little extra, <laughs> little extra oomph going into it. But uh, yeah, definitely, definitely preparing well and just getting ready to go. This season has an extra bit of oomph for you, right? Yeah. Because you're going into, you're graduating, seeing your season as part of Laurier football. Yeah. Um, what has the whole experience meant to you? How have you grown as not only a kicker and a football player, but as a person being part of Laurier football? I, the growth's been incredible. I mean, even if you, just going back, to some like interviews we've done when I was 17, mm -hmm. 18, being like a kind of starry-eyed kid, not <laughs> really knowing what's going on, uh, to being able to come out to the football field, get my education, be able to maintain football school, go back, get my MBA. Mm -hmm. uh, all of that probably wouldn't have been possible without football, without like kind of the additional drive, effort that needs to go into that, really just translates into kind of everything that I've done. What would you say to others about Laurier football? Everybody has decisions. When they're 17 and they're 18 years old, like you said, that's what it is. A lot of them get highly recruited by a number of different schools, whether it be in the OUA or across the country. What would you say about this program specifically? Honestly, this program, it's, it's what, kind of what they do for you when you're here. Like, they're, everyone's been extremely supportive. Mm -hmm. I mean, they care about you. That's basically the main thing that I've seen. Like, they want you to succeed no matter what you're doing. If it's, like, they want you to be, of course, the best football player that you can be, mm -hmm. but they also teach you kind of life lessons about really how to be the best person you can be. Your best experiences have been what? What are some of the things that stand out to you? I, I can think of one specifically. Yeah. Yeah, it may I have did. been at the end of a Yates Cup it game, it but, it, but it's also about more than that too, right? But what are some of those things? Is it is it teammates? Is it the coaches? Or is it the kick at Western and the comeback <laughs> victory over the Mustangs? I mean, that, that Western game's <laughs> definitely, definitely the best. I mean, you can't really top that yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, but like other than that, it's really just kind of the grind with all the players, like waking up for like 6 a.m. lifts, mm -hmm. being with the team, everyone kind of like that whole team atmosphere. You see anyone on the streets or going out and you're just one unit. Mm -hmm. And doing that's just fantastic. Speaking of the Western Mustangs, they are here yeah. on August 25th at one o'clock. Always a rivalry game, always a great challenge. You know, maybe it's hard to size up what we can expect on August 25th, but we know these stands here are gonna be full and we know there's gonna be a lot of intensity and excitement on the field. Can you just give us the sense and the feels for opening day? <laughs> I'm excited already. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, it's always a great game when we play them. Um, it's also a great first game of the season. Everyone's fired up, mm -hmm. haven't played in a while. Atmosphere should be fantastic. Uh, should be a great game to watch. And uh, I know I'm already excited. <laughs> I can only imagine. I can hear it now. in your voice. Yeah, it, it'll be a great game. 
That is Nathan Mesher, a Sir John A. McDonald grad here in Waterloo, getting ready for his final season in OUA football here with the Laurier Golden Hawks. Thanks for the time, Nate. Great to see you. Best wishes this season. Thank you. Thank you. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.